Make sure you have the lights on when you watch this video. I have two haunted tales from the Cornhusker State that will send chills down your spine. This is your spooky tour guide, Jeff, and I'm going to take you to the places where these stories got their start. Just a warning, due to the nature of these stories, viewer discretion is advised. For our first tale of terror, we're going to appropriately visit a ghost town south of Hastings, Nebraska. Spring Ranch was a bustling town back in the late 1800s. In 1885, a mob of vigilantes from Spring Ranch stormed the home of Elizabeth Taylor and her brother, Tom Jones. I'm not making that up. Those were their real names. Elizabeth and Tom weren't well liked by the community to start with. There were accusations of them stealing cattle, burning down a neighbor's barn, and just in general, being bad neighbors. But the final straw was when they were responsible for the murder of a man for, they said, stealing wood from their property. Elizabeth and Tom were dragged from their home and beaten mercilessly. During this beating was when they confessed to burning down the neighbor's barn. The two were then taken to a nearby bridge where they were hanged. Elizabeth holds the distinction of being the only woman ever lynched in the state of Nebraska. At first I thought this was the bridge where the hanging occurred. It certainly looks the part. Not only is it near Spring Ranch, but it's just outside the cemetery where Elizabeth and Tom are buried. But no, the actual bridge location is a few miles away near where the Taylor Ranch was. Understandably, the original bridge has been replaced a time or two since 1885, but this is the same location. It's said that late at night, especially on March 15th, the anniversary of the lynching, you can hear a man's and woman's ghostly voice screaming and pleading for mercy before abruptly going silent. Some have even said that as you walk over the bridge under your feet, you can hear the rhythmic creaking as Tom and Elizabeth's ghostly bodies still swing back and forth, just as they did in 1885 for over 12 hours before they were finally cut down from beneath the bridge. Do Tom and Elizabeth still haunt this bridge on a rural road in Clay County, Nebraska? If you decide to find out for yourself, well, make sure you visit the proper bridge. And speaking of bridges, our next story also involves a haunted bridge. But first, are you a fan of the strange, unusual, quirky, and odd? Then this channel is perfect for you. Hit that subscribe button and watch my weekly videos on my visits to interesting places all across the country. I do weekly videos on cruising and cruise tips too if you're interested in that. And make sure you give this video a like while you're at it. I'd appreciate it. This next story centers around this building. This is Portal School. Portal, Nebraska no longer exists. Portal is now a neighborhood in La Vista, Nebraska, just south of Omaha. Portal School opened in the 1880s, and in the late 1800s or early 1900s, it said that something horrific happened in this one-room schoolhouse. legend is that the teacher's name was Holly Hatchett, which is appropriate because that day after the students came into the school, Miss Hatchett locked the only door to the schoolhouse and began murdering her students one by one with an axe. She removed their heads and placed them on their desks, and then she took their hearts and walked to a nearby bridge where, one by one, she tossed them into the water below. To this day, that bridge is known as Heartbeat Bridge, and as you cross the bridge, 
you can hear what sounds like heartbeats. The legend goes on to say that Holly Hatchett then took her own life, leaving the townspeople to discover the gruesome scene when they came to the schoolhouse looking for their children. Unlike the story of Elizabeth Taylor and Tom Jones, there are no newspaper articles about the incident at this school in Portal, Nebraska. There's no record of a teacher named Holly Hatchett, and there are no graves for the young victims. The only tangible thing we have is this school, which was moved to this site from its original location to preserve it. Once the school was shut down in 1993, it was vandalized over and over again by those who were trying to taunt the spirit of an evil teacher who never existed. Still, even today, this school carries the nickname of Hatchet House. So I'm interested. What spooky legends do you have in your town or community? Is there some truth to those stories? Tell me about it in the comments section below. In the meantime, here are some links to other spooky stories that I think you might find interesting. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads.